Hey, it's Doug from Rise Above Performance Training. I got a fun little kettlebell finisher for you today. It's gonna to be swings and then single-sided upper body. So what you can do is set a timer. I usually set it for 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. And then I run through this at the end of the workout. So the swings are gonna be progressive in a sense that they're gonna change a little bit. So you're gonna start with a two-arm swing, and then you'll switch to an upper body. So you're gonna do overhead pressing or push pressing. Then you're gonna go to two one one swing, which will be switching from two arms, one arm, one arm. Then you're gonna go into a row. So you're gonna work from the top to down to the bottom. Then the last one, you're just doing all chain swings. You're gonna take away the two arm swing completely, and then you'll be on the floor doing a floor press, which will mimic the uh, chest. So we're getting all types of swings, and then all types of upper body movements. So we're going overhead, row, and then a press. I'll show you a little bit. Um, I won't set a timer because it'll take too long, but have fun with it, and we'll uh, go. So the first one's gonna be the two arm swing. So we know this one, lock down, shoulders down, finishing those hips and knees. So I would do this for 30 seconds. When my timer goes off, I'd rest my 15 and then I'm gonna bring it to the overhead position. So I'm gonna rack it up. And then I can strict press. If that gets tiring, I'm gonna use my legs and push press. So what I would do there is go for 30 seconds here. My timer will go off, I'll rest my 15 or whatever rest interval you put, and then I'll switch sides and do the other side. After the other side is complete, I'm gonna do a two one one swing. So I'm gonna start with the two arm and switch with the one arm. Leave yourself a little bit of space so you can grab the handles. Another tip I like is always treat it like a two arm swing. So I'm hiking through with the one arm, my second arm is going even though it doesn't have the bell in the hand. So two, let go one, switch one, back to two. Some people do two two arm swings in between. I tend to just cycle through them. So my 30 seconds would go off. I'd rest my 15 and then I'd do a row. You can brace your front leg, shoulders down, chest up, gliding the shoulder blade and down. If you need a little more core challenge, do it without bracing. Again, I do one side then the other. Then I'm gonna to go to my alternating swing, which is be the elimination of the two arm. So again, I'm gonna treat it like a two arm swing by swinging my free hand, hiking through, meeting at the top. Timer goes off. I'm gonna go down on the floor and finish this finisher with floor presses. So floor press, kind of start like you're doing a get up. You're gonna bring the bell to you. Legs completely down is the hardest way. Belly button pull down. I'm gonna press up. You don't want the opposite shoulder following you, so you can keep it down. If this is difficult, have one leg up. If it's really difficult, belly button down and both legs up for support. I'd rest my 15, then I'd go to the other side and my finisher's done. So give it a shot, let me know what you think.